the one you looking for the messiah is here shalom happy new year to all my brother and sister around the world today i like to go back to all my videos and grab something good points out of it so whoever read my video or watch my video uh, new ones they will know why am i always telling you that i am the one you are looking for so what i'm going to do today is i'm going to go uh, from the beginning a small testimony of what happened to me and the next thing is what is my job will be and 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 whatever that i have been telling you all on my videos i will just put little bit of each video together and going to uh, tell you what's coming up also so in the beginning my first video that i told you about small testimony the testimony was what happened to me it was june of 1999 when the son of man came with a cloud from the heaven and he approached me and he rest upon me which is written in daniel uh, 7 uh, 14 like he was in vision god was showing him the vision and he wrote it down his as he was in vision he saw someone look like man coming with the cloud of heaven approached to the ancient one and led him into his presence and that's what exactly happened to me again i told you that son of man only came come from above with a cloud nobody can go from down to up with a cloud so whoever came with the cloud he came from above to the earth and he approached the ancient one ancient one is not the god ancient one is somebody was born again born before and promised to come back and which is daniel if you read daniel chapter 12 13 it says as for you go your way until the end you will rest at the end of the days before the end you will rise again to receive your inheritance which is his kingship which is you remember when daniel was in exile he was taking care of king nabu so god have trained him for the kingship and god also promised king david that one of his son one of his son will be on his throne forever even if he sins he will he will spank him and he will bring him back but his favor never will go away from him so god promise his son will be always on his throne and like i said the daniel is the one you are looking for then third thing about the rebuilding of the temple that I always tell you the time when son of man came and rest upon me the first thing was whoever was inside of me was continue telling me build my house build my house build my house build my temple build my house so i know that i am the one that need to be build the temple with all your helps because that's what god wants that everybody come from exile back to the jerusalem or israel and help me to rebuild the third temple as soon as we build the temple the god glory will show up and the all over the world will come and worship in jerusalem now i've been telling you that again and again that we need to start building temple right away now it's all up to you there is two things can happen either you can put me you can put me right now which is on your time and we can start rebuilding the temple and whole world will see the god glory or on his time and on his time it could be the way it's written in the revelation chapter that two prophet will die and rose again on the third day 
They were preaching on the Jerusalem street for three and a half years. And in the end, the Antichrist, what they're talking about, they will kill them, kill them and they will die and rose again on the third day. And that's how you all will believe who the one raising him and both the prophet to go back to the heaven. So it's all up to you. There is two ways, two prophet in Judaism, two prophet in Christianity. You're looking for Ben David and Ben Joseph. So do in Revelation chapter, they're talking about two Messiah, two anointed one will be preaching three and a half years and the Antichrist will kill them and they will die and rose again. So it, it, it's like I said, that if you don't put me, then you all will see Gog and Magog and, and what the Muslim people talk about, Dajjal and, uh, and the Imam. Uh, those are the things will come up. And, and, and as a Christianity, they're talking about Jesus will come back, which is uh, uh, on the last trumpet. It says when the last trumpet will be blown, the dead in Christ will rise again. And the one who believe in Christ will be caught up in heaven, which is in last trumpet. So they're not going to see Jesus till the seven seal open. Seven trumpet will be open. They won't be here for the seven plague. But for as a Jew, because he, let's see even if we, if we say that Jesus was a Messiah and he came, he came and he said, he came for the Jew first and then the Gentile. Let's see, even if you don't accept him right now or we don't accept him, only God knows that and he will reveal on his time. So let's don't fight. Let's don't talk bad about each other because we all are children of God. And on his time, he will reveal who's the real God or real Messiah is, who's Jesus is, who I am is, and, and the, who's real God is. So let's, let's get together and understand the whole Bible, whole Torah and the Bible from the beginning to the end. Uh, let's don't put each other down and understand the complete Torah and the Bible. So one of the things that I want to tell you today, that it's not easy for me. Remember, I'm not exalting myself. I am not exalting. He have exalted me. And remember, I'm not doing this one for just for the kingship. No, 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 no. I'm, the, I'm about to drink the cup of suffering that you all don't know yet. You all don't know yet. Just because... They're going to put me into my throne and my place. That doesn't make me a better than you all. But yes, I am right now. I can say that. And again, I told you on my last video that if I tell you, if I tell you that I am above you all, Rabbi, and uh, member of the Sanhedrin, my statement will be absolutely correct. Because the way... I'm talking to you, nobody will talk to you because this is comes from up there. The authority he has given me to let you all know that I am the one you all looking for. You know, I was reading the other day and one of the rabbi, this is what he said. This is what he said. Let me read this one. If the Messiah is of a living, it would be our holy master. But, and if he was the dead, it would be, it would have been a Daniel. So you see, even the, one of the rabbi, he's talking about if the Messiah will be like Daniel. Because Daniel was promised to come back. And Daniel was second son of King David from Abigail. So, one thing you need to understand that God promised, God promised King David, his own son, his own offspring will be forever. His own son. And also he said that he will be his father. God will be his father and he will be his, his son. So 
The thing is, what I'm trying to tell you is that God promised King David and King David gave promise to Solomon. But this is the promise he gave it to Solomon that if he keeps the commandment, then his throne will be forever. But remember that he went spiral down and his kingdom will be destroyed and the temple will be was also destroyed. So now we are ready for the third temple. It, without the third temple, there is no redemption. And I am telling you again and again that you are watching my video. You all are watching my video. I haven't been got one phone call from any of the rabbi or from the member of the St. Henry. They don't even approach me. I don't know what they are up to and what they want, if they want Messiah or not. If they... And if they want, I don't know if they already find somebody or not, and they already have someone or not. But the way I'm telling you and talking to you, it's they're not going to find nobody. They need to come pick me up. Now, again, like I told you in the last video, that we about to see Gog and Magog. If you don't put me on time, there will be Gog and Magog. And maybe that will be the another way that you will understand and put me into my throne. So the Gog and Magog is coming. The global economy is about to collapse. I've been telling you they've been lying to us. So let's see what comes first is global economy or we are going war with Iran or North Korea. Now, this is what I like you to do, that I want you to repent, repent and come back to Lord. Come back to Lord and ask them, ask him to bring the Messiah. You all need to work on this one ASAP because we are running out of time. We are running out of time and things going to get uglier and uglier and uglier. This is the year that most of the rabbi been talking about 5780. We are very close to 6000. If you all want to see the messianic age, you all want to see your king, you want to see your messiah, then you need to choose right now. If there is someone that calling himself a messiah, then he needs to come out. I know that somebody is talking about behind the screen that he is the Messiah, then he needs to come out. If there is a Ben Joseph or Elijah is already there, I suggest that you all come out so we can start rebuilding that temple, which is very important. So that way, most of the Israeli, all the tribes, even the lost tribe from all over the world can come and help me to build the temple. I told you again, you cannot build the temple without me. You cannot put even one stone. Now, let me tell you one thing. The Hinduism, I came from the Hinduism. Hinduism is 6,000 years old. Judaism is 3,500 years old. Christianity is 2,500 years old. Muslims, 1,500 years old. So tell me who was walking with the God? Hindu? Jew. So, uh, and if you all remember at the Tower of Babel, God gave everybody a different language. Also in Genesis, if you know that uh, when Moses went to, to uh, in the mountain up there, uh, when he received the Ten Commandments, his brother Aaron made a calf, which is a baby cow. Now, who's worshipping that one right now? Indian people, the Rachel, when the Jacob left his father-in-law, the his wife Rachel, the uh, the, the the daughter of father-in-law, uh, had a, a, a idols, all the gods, and one of the god called Ganesha, which is right now also the biggest god in India in Hinduism, and they worship every year called Ganesha. So you see that. It goes way back into Hinduism. So, and also God told Abraham, he gave him a promise that your descendant will be as many as 
a star of the sky, sand of the sea, and the dust of the earth. That makes a billions, not millions. So let's see if there are two, two billion Christians, two billion Muslims, then I'm definitely there are two billion, billion Jews on the earth. And so I'm asking you, everybody who listened to my video, find out who are you. Who are you? And, 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 and then come back to Israel. Come back to Israel and help to rebuild the, the, the temple. And so also, according to the word in the first five book, the, uh, in Zechariah, it says the Torah will be teach all over the world. And uh, I believe 100% because these words are inspired by God and, and we should keep his commandment. The Ten Commandments is very important. And if we obey those commandments and if we obey his word and listen to his word and digest his word, I bet you, you will see your Messiah very soon. The Messiah needs to be in his place. That way, everybody will see the God glory. If you don't put him right now, people is not going to believe in Judaism. They're going to be talking about, wait a minute, they're talking about their Messiah is coming, their Messiah is coming, and they don't see anything. I am here. I am here. I am on the earth. Come. Come talk to me. Come talk to me. Put me on my throne and you will see. Anoint me. Anoint me with the oil. Let everybody see the God glory. You're not going to find anybody else but me. Again, I, uh, I don't want to exalt myself. Like I said, that he is the one who exalted me. Why he chose me? I don't know, but only thing I know that it don't happen to nobody. It doesn't say anybody except the one. And that happened to me. So that's why I've been telling you again and again, approach me. Pick me up. Let's start building the temple. Let the whole world know that Torah is 100% correct. Torah is 100% correct. So do the Bible. If you don't accept me right now, then you will see the last chapter of Revelations very quick. So there are two ways. Either choose me on your time or God will choose on his time. Whatever you prefer. But I prefer myself that you come and pick me up. So the whole world, and you can see the kingship, you can see the whole world, and all the nations will put their weapons down and come and go down to Jerusalem to worship our Lord of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. So I suggest you last time, I told you from the beginning what happened and what's coming up. Now it's all up to you. I thank you for watching my video. And I want you to let everybody know that Messiah is here. Thank you. And God bless you.